let's watch this. Atlanta, Georgia, of course, 1996. There's an ad for what I assume is shampoo. There's a billboard ad. 100%. And you'll start hearing a truck. So, you know, already I feel like I'm in this is a Tarantino film <laughs> to me. There was definitely like a very long script to this. Intro. Oh, yeah. Obviously, this is some sort of failed screenwriter who's been tasked with this <laughs> video game. And there's another shot of just, like, we've already oh. established the truck, <laughs> but they want to really sit with it for a second. Now you're... What's going on? <laughs> there's a lot of confusion. There's lightning, and then there's... is Who is this? Is this an old woman in a trench coat? <laughs> he does have that yeah yeah haircut. And oh. here's the punchline. Here's the great... Oh, yes. Great sound. Sound design. And here's the punchline. And what is Sting saying? Take me to the show? Is he hitching a ride? Well, the weird thing is he had two fiery... I don't know what. Yeah, well, I think those are the... Like, you ever see in the old sitcoms, homeless people? Oh, with all like themselves? The, yeah, the barrel. Crash game. Here's a backstage that you never see in the actual game. Uh. <laughs> and as you know, if you change the costumes in the game, it reflects in the intro. I did not know you'd be Look at the nice stand. cityscape, watch, and then you'll see. You can actually barely tell so, what you're so looking at. Sting is dreaming now. <laughs> of the giant right? Of, and Bret Hart with no wrist tape. Hogan. Elongated Hogan pose. Yeah. And now we're going into right, Alex Wright and Saturn. Uh, <laughs> it had a, a good end point of the video with Sting looking yeah. at the city. But I think they have a good one again. It comes up soon. Maybe in another uh, 18 minutes or so, <laughs> it starts wrapping up. I will say the roster on this is a lot better than No Mercy. I think this is the best roster out of all of these games. Yeah, it, I think it is. Because it also has enough classic WWF guys that you feel like you, you can do everything with yeah. anyone. Yeah, yeah. Crash. Crash. That, and that adds to it, you know. Uh, and now know. Sting is red and angry, and he wants to burn Hogan in a barrel. And they're checking Hogan's uh, <laughs> heartbeat. <laughs> See how his blood yeah, pressure is. He's still with us. Oh, he's we'll posing. Get off. ready. He's posing off into the. This distance. gets so much better. Oh wow. They're wait, really, no, they're... you're not ready. <laughs> and they're. Wait, oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> that was the big. And then. <laughs> There you go. It Revenge. built to a, a graphic that was worse than the actual graphic. What I think happened was Hogan was supposed to pick Sting up to go to the show and he never came. Uh, and now he hitched a ride with the truck driver. And this is like Sting's now revenge. Like, ah, you made me, you stranded me. <laughs> wow, this is a, the, a steep turn is that you turn it to have all these. It was this knowledge. and masturbating. <laughs> This was, that was like the weekend. At the and same time? Like, <laughs> not at the same time. This was, uh, you would masturbate and you're like, oh God, this is disgusting. I'm ashamed of myself. I should do something productive. Let's win the US title. <laughs> what pay per view are we doing? Uh, I really like, we, I would say either Nitro or Bash at the Beach. I like, I like the props. They were so good, the sets in WCW. They went really all out. It was like a, like a sitcom or something. They have all this like, Sand. Sand. Yeah, it looked like Saved by the Bell Ecology. Yeah. I'm a little worried about what you, what's going on with all the pillows. What? The I box. like, I'm Everything's... propping myself up. I want to, I hate sinking in. But everything's bunched up around you. Let's go look like a giant mess. I like it. I think it's a nice, it's a fun pose. It's... You haven't seen it on the show yet. <laughs> I wanted to bring something new to everyone. It's the pose. Watching at home. AKI man? Yeah. <laughs> Shogun. <laughs> the Executioner. He looks like a bit of a deviant. Executioner, and his nickname is Execution. <laughs> I think that's really clever of him. I think I'm going with Glacier, Glacier. who is still wrestling. Should I pick someone? I, I, I had a I had a six man tag with Glacier. Oh, uh, when was this? Uh, 2018. We all went out drinking with him, and he was like the nicest man. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's nice when they're nice. He, you know, he says that him and Ming go out for lunch still. They go up, but, but get this, they go up for lunch and they stay so long drinking and stuff that then they'll also get dinner at the same place. That is a, like a <laughs> sick fantasy of mine. Because there's some places I like, like brunch places, where I was like, this was so good, and then you have coffee with someone and it goes into like, you're pushing an hour, and then you're kind of getting hungry again, 
but you feel like if you did that, it's like a very. I feel like Orson Welles did that a lot. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Our, uh, two for lunch and dinner. <laughs> I don't want, I don't ah, want. I'm gonna pick Larry's at this. Oh. <laughs> let's get a nice outfit. <laughs> let's make sure it's a good outfit. Yeah, let's go black. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna turn up our power? Do you want it? Yeah, like, that's I mean, really high voltage then. But if it's equal, does it not just cancel each other out? Probably. Probably the same. Okay. Is there any rules we need to change? DK goes off. Uh, rope break? Can we shut the- No, let's leave it on. Let's- it's part of the game. professionals, it's yeah. part of the game here. And now you're coming out to one of two songs in this game. <laughs> not a lot of- Walking at the same speed as everyone else. And they took off all his- Does cool anyone have stuff? And you'll get- Oh, no fireworks at all. Here's Larry, really energetic. <laughs> Does he have a, a pose he's gonna hit though? He doesn't have his hairy chest, which is weird. Does he get fireworks? Yes, oh, he got Larry fireworks. You got fireworks? Yeah, no. look at that. No rush. When we uh we went out with uh, Glacier, we were, having, yeah. we were uh, drinking, having a good time. And then so the wait waitress comes over, he's like, you know what, get the next round on me. Oh. Then we have, we have enough, like we're still having a good time. She comes back, he's like, you know what, next round on me. And then, Third time she comes back, he's like, you know what? Every trick they had tonight, it's on me. He's like raising the stakes off. I feel like he did that. That was like a, he intended to pay for the beginning, but he wanted to oh, maybe he, work for it. He was building towards it. Yeah. It could Probably be. Probably the old routine. Oh yeah. He learned that from, I think I got you there. I don't know. I like the replay. Oh yeah, mid game. Oh man. The nice standard suplex. Oh, oh. I guess not, Larry. The thing is I, uh, I wasn't anticipating you being so knowledgeable. I tell you, game. if there's anything I know about it, it's this game and masturbating. <laughs> Can you name your favorite Larry Zabisco match? Um, he had some fun ones in the AWA. I feel like he had some Bachwinkle ones that I watched. Okay. I think my actual That's favorite not... <laughs> is him and Bruno San Martino from Shea Stadium, which is an old oh, student wow. versus teacher kind of thing. Oh, now I'm gonna pick a body part. And just really and, gets, and there's the cartoon ref, which added so much to the game. Uh, it's actually a real guy, too. I wonder if he Yeah, got... uh, Mark Curtis. Do you think he got anything out of that? Probably. Unless if they... I remember Jimmy Cordero saying something about how they used his likeness as a ref. But they said it was a generic ref, but it blatantly looked oh, like Oh, really? It. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I know, uh... I understand in WCW, the ref... We're not only paid to be rest, but also ring crew. So That's make, like the rest in uh, WWE. Because uh, they make like a, a deceivingly large amount of money. Yes, and they do a lot. They're also like the first to be there and the last to leave. Right. Who, oh, wow. Larry with another head scissors, and now we're going after the head with a nice. Oh. Well, it's kind of like a, a comforting. It's a, it's a hug, really. Hey, I just want to make sure everything's okay. And Our, it's important to check in on people. You know what? I'll give you credit. You're like a boxer. You hit a move and then you move across the yeah. ring. So I have to come after you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big what? left hand and that's no, no. your coach. That's classless. No. Oh. You're one of those people. I always had to like, when I play Well, your, your finish is a kick. I always have to finish with a special. Yeah, and it you bothered those, you to just... There's people like you who get a wrist lock and just, they're happy to go home for Like there. my real life. Well, I guess that's true. And now we're going back to the legs. See, this is the storytelling. Uh, I think I, I set it up in the beginning and it's wearing you down. And now, oh. Glacier, you're taking that base away from Glacier. Do you think Glacier got a bit of a bum deal? No, I think he was brought in too strong in the beginning. And I think that was the problem. So that's a bum deal. Um... Yeah, I guess. It, he was mismanaged, I'll say that. Because the entrance, like, they make fun of it all now. But the yeah. entrance is, like, not that different than The Undertaker's entrance. No, but he was also... The Undertaker did not start with that entrance. Right. You know? There we go. There's the tap out. Oh. Nice choke. And this is, like, how an old man says goodbye to people. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm you. heading out. Or I'm multiple go. people. Like, uh, it's a dinner party, and he leaves, and puts his shoes on and his coat. And he turns around and goes, I'll see everyone. Like, you know, the, the greatest part at one of those, when someone puts their shoes on, everyone's just kind of sitting there waiting for them to yeah. get them on. Just... Oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> and then the host is like leaning on the wall. Uh, and they're like, well, it was good seeing it you. Was great to have you. Cold? There's no, there's no snow out there. You should be okay. And the guy is just huffing. <laughs> and Being this is kind of a crossover episode. Yeah. 
with all the shows that you do. Yeah. What are your favorite crossover episodes? What are my, my favorite is, and it's very uh, unsung, when Seinfeld first started, it was not doing very well in the ratings. Right. So they asked Jerry's friend Paul Reiser, who had the hit that, show Mad About You. Give him the Reiser rub. To give him the Reiser rub. So there's an episode of Mad About You where it turns out Paul has had an apartment that he's been renting out, and it's just keeping all his old shit there. It's Kramer's apartment. Oh, really? And so Paul Reiser owned Kramer's apartment. That's why Kramer never needed to work. And Kramer and, and Paul have this moment and share a cigar. And he's like, uh, how's that new guy, Jerry? Eh, he's not too bad. And then that's like the uh, little... So it's like an origin story. It is an origin <laughs> story and people don't realize it. And I don't think Paul was ever on Seinfeld. I don't think he was. Because I think Seinfeld blew past me and said, I don't need you anymore. Yeah, yeah, Paul. yeah. Good luck with your dog right. in Angus area. <laughs> I don't need this shit. I'm going with Dally. Now, uh... I just saw one that was very strange. With my free time, I watched Lois and Clark from yes. the Superband show. Yes. They had uh, the Jeffersons. George and, and yeah. Weezy. Yeah. They were the villains of the show. That's terrible. I mean, when you have a Superman show that starts with Lois in the title, yeah, something's off. No, something's... And that was the wonderful Terry Hatcher and Dean Cain. Yes. Yeah. And Dean Cain, of course, went on to what we remember him most from. The Ripley's Believe yes, It or Not. That was a big hit, actually. It was, do you remember? It was like that and Guinness, and then like Fox had a bunch of like wildest car crashes. Or like David Blaine's got a, something he's gonna do. David Blaine, and there was also a very big uncovering secrets, like secrets of magic, yeah. secrets of wrestling. Oh, yeah, the expose. Yeah, they loved the expose. Like, like that really exposing too much. I guess it was like, um, I guess the X-Files started that kick. Yeah. And then they're just, they ran out of things and they're like, okay, just go. let's expose the business. Just go, we're already here. <laughs> uh, and this is my favorite, DDP's ribs would always, always yeah. be hurting. Oh, see, if you're gonna have DQs on. There's also a crossover episode, kind of in a sense, of Larry Sanders and Seinfeld. Hank falls asleep on the Seinfeld set. And of course, you can't really speak about the actor who played Hank anymore. Oh, that's true. Is it, you know, I love the, I'm not, I don't love it. I'm fascinated by the shift in my brain when you find out an actor or someone has done something sexist or racist uh, yeah. or sexual, and you're, you're, may I? You're, I you just, pause the game. Yeah, it's important that you go, my brain takes their file out of the good person. Uh, yeah. Folder and puts it in the bad person. I mean, we typically don't get onto controversial topics. No, here. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it Too is. political for everybody. He's the even. Flow. It is? No. Oh. And it's a shame because one of my favorite movies is. I don't say it's a shame, but. No. One of my favorite movies oh. is. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we playing a game? <laughs> Go on. Do you want. Um, is Glengarry Glen Ross. And there's a lot of great Kevin Spacey lines, and I'm always like, oh, I remember this line, and that was fun. And I was like, oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know, no. Okay, let's do one more game for all the marbles here. No, no, I think we've had all the marbles. I won all the marbles. I just one more. We'll do all the uh, AKI man. No, no, I think we're there. We did three. We did best two out of three. I won two. I think you know my cup runneth over. I think sure. I think yours does. I know too. yours does. But yeah. like maybe just we'll have one more. Be fun. We'll you can have video. one more. It's your house, and you know really I feel like I would be imposing if I stayed that long. And I'm calling it this because it? I don't feel welcome. Yeah, this is it. This, this is more to... than everything. It's never gonna end. Got to leave something for next time. So then, or when you have Glacier on the show. When Ray Lloyd gets on the show, you're done. Ray? I'll be done with you by then. Go the full two hours. I think we've uh, reached our limit. I'm hungry. Uh, and I want to thank you for respecting my wishes. Uh, to know when enough is enough. I don't think, I think there was something left on the table. Yeah, and I think that's the way you should leave it. You're gonna have other episodes. This isn't the <laughs> season finale. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go put on my shoes you, for you, a good five minutes. Oh, come on. It was good. Come on, just one. Power no, down, what do you do? Say. No, no, here no, we are. I think it'd be great. All right, where are my shoes? Wait a second here, just wait a second.